Okay, simple third person setup. Um, <clears throat> we're going to do a capsule for the player. And we're going to create an empty. And that's going to be our anchor point. And it's going to have an empty. And inside that's going to have the camera. So this guy, we're going to set him to say 4 and negative 6. Right, so then what we're going to do is we're going to add an FSM to the anchor. I should probably name those. Where we need a set position, get position. So we need a get position of the player. Uh, space world, every frame, set position of owner to player world every frame and then <coughs> this guy here we're going to add an FSM to him and we're going to do a smooth look at so he is going to smooth look at him but at a very high speed with no finish tolerance. Now the other thing this guy needs, okay, so this is follow, this will be turn. So turn, we are going to get axis. We need a multiply. And we need a rotate. So, of course, that's in exactly the wrong order. So we we need. Um, just going to use mouse X for the axis name. We'll give it a say a ninety for a multiplier. Call that one X. Well, I guess I don't need a foot multiply with the axes, do I? We're going to rotate owner, world space, on the Y per second. So now, <coughs> if I hit play, as you can see, as I move my mouse around, it's going to rotate around the player. And then on the player, um, I'm going to add a character controller just because it's an easy way to set it up. And we're going to get access, get those, give it a multiplier of three. Now, here you can do to the camera or to the player for this. And the difference is if we go to the camera, um, we move vector. Okay, yeah, that's that. I'll give this guy three. So this is kind of how this looks. So as you see, as I'm turning the camera, if I push forward, he's always moving in that direction. If I do relative to the capsule, if I push forward, he's moving that way. It doesn't matter where I move the camera. Now. Okay, so there's there's that difference. Let's take a look. 
with like a follow. And set that into the late update. For that, <clears throat> let's see. That's a little better. Might be a bit fast, uh, especially when you're. <coughs> The farther back you go on these, obviously as you're spinning the camera, it's, for the rendering to try to catch up uh, can be difficult for it. Um, but that is kind of one method on how we can do a basic setup of a third person. Anyways, I will probably have to expand on that one. There's there's so many things with third person. Th third person controllers are literally the biggest, hardest thing to set up. There, there's a lot to them. There's a lot of different parts that you gotta worry about. Uh, but I'm just gonna leave that one there. For